Hello everyone, this is Joseph Corey, and this is my video for the project of the Brothers of the Holy Cross. So, for this first question about how the Brothers of Holy Cross, how they face times in their lives and how they've helped me, so, especially with me, it's praying. Praying, 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 because my dad is in a state where he is unconscious of what goes on in his brain. A lot of stuff goes on. He knows what's going on, but he really doesn't because he acts in certain ways randomly where he'll be happy one minute and then sad the other because of his brain because he had a fall in the summer and he's had the skull taken out of his brain. So especially with the Brothers of the Holy Cross, for me it's just been praying, praying, and praying. So how I see the challenge early for the brothers being lived out at my school is just the prayers that have been given out from the community. Everyone, uh, I would, I think everyone normally at Ed's, I think the faculty and the staff, they all know about my dad. So I got an email even over the summer being said that there would be a prayer brought out for my dad. So I bet that the brothers of Holy Cross definitely had to do something with that in my in prayers for my dad. And how this I motivates me is in a way that you can't give up. Because you got way too many people behind you, especially good people. You got people at Ed's, you got friends and family. People at Ed's don't even, they haven't really met my dad. They, we kind of just, Corey household has kind of always been at Ed's. So the fact that they kind of know the people who have been there and who they've been, kind of keeping that same last name Corey and treating them like family with prayers. So that kind of makes that kind of motivates me to do, I guess what, I guess to do the right thing because these prayers they've been helping, but the process is just all my dad right now. So the prayers is as much as I we can do. And. So I want to talk about the Holy Cross and the three ways for the resilience and divine providence is having trust in God with those prayers that throughout all the pain, throughout all the suffering, as much as you can do, God is the only answer to the problems. All you can do is pray and pray because something in a human's body is something you can't control, especially their brain. So that's something he's got to do but something we have to do to accept God in our lives and say, God, please, I beg you, this is a prayer for me to you to save us. And that we recognize him. We recognize him, we love and we serve him. We pray to him and we serve him. Serve him is in a way as we do as what he wished for us to do while he put us on this earth. And for the share of gifts and talents is whatever which we were given with our talents brought on this earth. With my dad is what can we do with the doctors, with this therapy, to get him as much help as possible, especially with God, with all these prayers. God has done so much for him. The first couple hours he was there, they're saying he's not going to make it out. Seven months later, he's home getting therapy, and he's living a life that revolves around therapy right now. So just acknowledging God with those prayers and with all of us, our talents, to get them those doctors. Thank you.